Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Welcome to the channel if you are new here. Hello, my name is Roxanne, also known as Bai Bun, and I'm a mixed media artist, illustrator, and maker of things. Today's video is a little shop drop tour, shop drop haul. I do these videos anytime I'm updating my Etsy shop with a lot of new stuff or things that I kind of want to share or walk you through um, just as a way to kind of feature some of the new things coming to the shop, share some goodies and just show you what I've got going on. If you are watching this video now uh, and it is up on YouTube, it means the shop drop is currently live. So all of these items, stickers, coasters, mini journals, mini journal tutorial video. Yes, huge update on this that I can't wait to talk to you guys about. Um, all of that is available now in my Etsy shop. There will be a link down below and I will be sure to also pin a link in the comment section as well. Of course, there's never any pressure to actually purchase things out of my shop. You simply watching this video, uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel is uh, an amazing way to support me as a artist and small business. So there's never, there's never any pressure to go buy the things, but sometimes it's fun just to look at the things, right? That's why I like to make these little tour videos. I think it's just fun. Also selfishly, I really like these because they're kind of like a time capsule in a way for me that I can go back and see like, oh, when did I release that one sticker? When did I make that one product? I can actually like look on my YouTube channel and find previous videos where I've created things. So it's kind of fun just to see over time how my designs change and and when I released things and it's just fun to look back on and I don't know I I enjoy watching videos kind of like this so that's why I continue to make them here um, on the channel so yeah shop drop is live uh, link down below but let's go ahead and get into it I've got a lot of stuff to update you on lots of new stickers some advent stickers that I had left over again huge update with mini journals. And I'm wondering if we should get to that first maybe um, before we get into all these other goodies, uh, including some charms. But I feel like stickers are the real big highlight for this particular um, shop drop. I've kind of been hoarding a lot of things, uh, including these little charms. We'll get to that as well. Um, I've been hoarding a lot of things because I, t I like to do shop drops when I have a lot of things to put in, in my shop or list on Etsy. Um, because then it's just, it's better for you guys, right? You're not having to just keep going back and buying things and paying for shipping over and over again. Um, when I have, you know, a bunch of different things in the shop, you can grab it all and just pay for shipping once. And I feel like it just makes more sense. Okay. First things first, let's talk about mini journals. Now you guys have known for a long time, um, about two years ago, I put out a mixed media mini journals class. In the class, I showed you how to basically create your own mini journal kit, um, how to put it together, and then how to basically fill up the mini journal from cover to cover. So that's loads of videos. It's one of my biggest classes that I ever put out, um, but it basically shows you everything you need to know, all of my little secrets, tips, assembling this, and then ideas on how to fill your mini journal. Well, it's been two years since I released that class, so I thought that it would be fun to sort of revisit it, but just in a little bit of a different way. And how I'm doing that is, first up, I'm bringing back mini journal kits. I have, I had a bunch of supplies left over from when I sold these previously when I released the class, because I released the class with the thought in mind of you could buy the mini journal class and then you could pick up a kit so that you wouldn't have to stress or worry about you know, cutting and sourcing these materials, it's already ready to go for you, you know, in a little, in a little kit. But what I decided is not only did I want to bring these back because I had so many of the materials already ready. So I kind of was just packaging these again and I figured, oh, I should relist these. I have all of the materials. Why not? But I've also decided to release a specific mini journal tutorial video that will be available on my Etsy shop that will show you how to put this kit together. So there's basically three different routes of mini journaling when uh, you look at my Etsy shop. First up is just to buy the mini journal kit straight up. When you buy the kit, the kit does not come with instructions. It just comes with all the materials pre-cut and ready to go. Second option is to buy the class, which shows you how to make your own kit if you wanted to. You could also buy the kit with the class and then you're learning all of the secrets about the materials, how to put it together, and then how to completely fill it. But now I'm offering a third kind of route to go in my, Etsy, in my Etsy shop is that you can buy yourself a kit and you can buy yourself the tutorial video um, and learn how to put this together. So that video is just a standalone 40 minute video of how to basically go from a kit 
to a blank mini journal and that's all it is. So it's kind of a more affordable option if you didn't wanna buy the full class that has you know, basically the kit uh, measurements, it has templates, it has my secrets of the materials um, and of course how to fill it. If you didn't wanna buy the huge big class, you could just get yourself a kit and uh, get the digital download of the tutorial and learn how to put it together on your own. So that is now an option in my Etsy shop, which is very exciting. So lots of different routes to mini journaling basically. Um, and the kits that will be available are these three different kits, um, all with the covers are all of my uh, original artwork basically. Um, well, they're, they're prints of my artwork. So we have the Starry kit, which is like a black velvet binding. It's literally this, this mini journal here uh, with the black velvet binding, the little um, stars, the purple and gold stars. And that is that. And then we have this one, which is hard to tell on camera, but it's like a burgundy color. I think technically it's like a wine, like a red wine color. And then these sort of little black leaves. And then I have brought back the mystery mini kits. And the mini, the mystery mini kits are fun because they're actually, the cover papers are actually cut down versions of my zines. So all of my different zines, you never know what you're going to get. You don't know what the cover paper you're going to get and you don't know what binding paper you're going to get. There's lots of different options. There's a lavender, uh, a green, a red, um, wine, the, the wine color, black, a light pink. You just, you don't know what you're going to get with this one, which is kind of fun. Um, the mystery kits were always like the most popular thing that sold. Um, I think because people like obviously the mystery element of it, but you know, the thing with mini journals too, is that like, if you didn't like what paper you got on, you know, on your front, um, you could always just cover over it, which is, I do that a lot with my own mini journaling is I will paint or collage on top of my covers. Um, you know, so that works out if you got one that maybe you didn't like, or you weren't that crazy about it, you could always just collage over it. But anyways, uh, so that's kind of the fun option. You know, when I first listed these mini journal kits, a lot of people were asking me for a tutorial for these. Um, because again, when you buy the kit by itself, it does not come with a tutorial. It's too complex of a process for me to just include like a written up tutorial in there. It would just lead to just absolute chaos. Uh, but now there is that add on option of in my Etsy shop, you can just get yourself the digital download um, of that video to learn how to put these together. Another reason why I don't include the tutorial with these is that some people have already purchased the class or they've taken the workshop with me in person. So they don't want to pay the extra for the tutorials. They just want the kit ready to go with the, you know, pre-cut materials and it's already measured. Um, so that's why that is like that. And it's too complex of a process for me to include like a typed up instructions. It really needs to be like a video and the video that I've put together, it's a 40 minute video, um, showing you how to assemble this from start to finish. It's, it's, it's a relatively easy process, but there are a lot of little, little things that's part of it. It's kind of a nuanced process. Um, and I kind of go through all of that in that tutorial video. So, um, also to note on the mixed media mini journal class, I did lower the price on this as well. So it's, it's now at a discounted price. Um, if you did want to take the full class, um, that is there again, jam packed with ideas and mixed media techniques and inspiration. Um, if you're looking to make your own little mixed media minis. All right. So that is it for the mini journal update. I know a lot, <laughs> a lot there. Feel free to leave any questions for me in the comments down below if you want. Uh, next up, we have some charms. I ordered these charms. They are little acrylic charms a long time ago. And you guys have heard me talk about this in the uh, my latest studio vlog here. Um, I ordered these acrylic charms a long time ago, and then I just sort of stuck them in a bin and didn't know what to do with them <laughs> because they came as just the charms on their own, no keychain or anything like that. Um, so I had to kind of figure out like, how do I want to package these? How do I want to deal with this? So I went ahead finally and got the keychain parts and attached them all myself. So each little charm comes with um, an attached little keychain and it does have a protective film on it. This is one that I have removed. So you can see that it's nice and bright and colorful. This one here has the protective film on it. So, ah. so just know if you order a charm from me and you receive it, it does have a protective film on the front of it. Um, I asked you guys in the studio vlog how I should handle this and nearly everyone said, leave the film on and just make a little note in the listing basically saying like, hey, 
this it has a protective film so when you get it it might look a little crazy or scuffed up but it's actually not it just has that little film that you need to take off of it or if you want to leave it on and have a little bit more protection for your charm that is an option as well so we have the creative juices charm again this is with the um film on this is with the film off of it i'm really happy with how this one turned out i think it's really cute i could picture this on like a little sketchbook bag or a backpack or certainly um, some keys, you know, big old, big old keys full of keychains. I'm one of those people. Um, and then the second charm is uh, these little ghosties, which are also super cute. Now these, this has the film on both of these, but what I'm going to do is remove the film off of one so you can just kind of see how that process works because I'll probably link to this video in my Etsy listing so that uh, people know how to get them off. It is very tricky to remove the film, I will admit, but it's such a huge difference from um, kind of the before and after. Now, I know you can, I mean, if, you've, if you're really savvy with your fingers, you might be able to just do this with a fingernail, but I am gonna, I was actually doing it with a Zacto knife and I found that that was a lot easier to kind of find a little corner, find a little edge. Most of them will have a little area where you can kind of weasel a little knife or something underneath it to remove it. Some of you guys also might have tips on how to remove this film. Um, if you have them, please leave them in the comments down below because I will admit this is going to be the only time that I ever do charms ever again. This was such a pain in the butt to put all these little keychains on these. Uh, and thankfully I ordered a really small batch of them. So I, I expect them to go quick because there's a very limited number of these um, and I will not be doing these ever again. I just wanted to experiment with a new product and give it a go. Look, it's cute how it turned out, especially now that I've added the little keychains to them, but oof, it's just a pain in the butt. Like I just don't, I, I, this is a one-time deal here. So you can see I just sort of slide my little Zacto knife under here, and that's how you're able to kind of get it peeled up. And once you just get one little spot peeled or lifted, then the whole the whole rest of it will come off really easy like that. And there it is. So now you can see the difference. You've got your super shiny, not scuffed up looking charm versus this. So that's sort of your before and after there. Um, and how you might be able to lift them up. Yeah, I just find that an X-Acto knife is the easiest way to to lift up the film on that. So that is the charms, the two new charms that will be available. Again, really small quantity in those. I, I'm expecting these to go quick, and once they're gone, they're gone. I'm not, I'm not restocking those, not dealing with charms ever again. Um, something else that is new in the shop is that I did get some more coasters made. Uh, a long time ago, I got two different coaster designs made. Let's see, I have one sitting on my desk. If you guys remember these, I had the rainbow skull and then I got the Ouija moth made into coasters and it was a good time. You guys really love these. I love them too. Like I love just having them on my desk. It's great to put underneath your paint water cup, your coffee cup around the house, um, whatever. They're just like your classic sort of like thicker cardboardy kind of coasters. Um, but this sticker design was a real hit. This was a, a design that was in the advent, last year's advent. Um, and I thought that, you know, he might look really cool on a coaster. So I got him made into a coaster. So that is also something that will be available. I have a very limited number of these as well. Like the charms, I do expect these to go um, pretty quick as well. So some fun coasters being added into the drop. Um, speaking of the advent, I do have a very, very limited number of leftover advent stickers. Uh, these have actually been sitting in the shop for a bit. I only let my patrons know that I was sticking them in there. Um, and now that it's, they've, you know, my, my patrons have uh, really cleared out the inventory. There is still a fine number of these. And when I say fine number, I mean like I have like five of these, 10 of these, like I don't have a lot left. Um, but I did take some of my leftover stickers that were from the advent and listed those in the shop. So we have a few like little individual stickers, the Leota, which I love. We've got like the little ghost and he's a clear sticker. This guy is also a clear sticker. You would have seen all of these in the advent reveal videos. That's why I'm going through them kind of quickly here. Um, and then some big chonky guys. He's a really big vinyl sticker. 
and then even like a art journal spread. I have very limited number of these. Um, but just wanted to let you know that there are a few of those le left in the shop as well. So when I say stickers, like there's a lot of stickers to be had. Also, I put together some little sets of sort of the 90s vibe stickers that were also in the advent, the little VHS covers, the lava lamp, and then that pink girl. I just thought it would make for a really cute little set. So I gathered up all my little extras and put these together and they are in the shop as well. So if you are looking for some stickers to cover up, you know, your sketchbook covers for 2023, I've got you. I've got loads and loads of stickers, which speaking of, we have lots of brand new stickers to talk about. Let's go ahead and talk about this pink and blue gal. I absolutely love her. She was something that I did in a Patreon video as part of our sketchbook club. And I just love the way she turned out. And I'm in a real trend right now of doing a lot of pinks and blues and bright colors in general. I'm in my, my color renaissance at the moment. Um, and it's very much reflected in my illustrations. But once I illustrated her, I knew that she would make for a really fun sticker. So she is available in the shop. Nice big sticker with a matte finish. Really, really excited to list that one for you guys. Also in the shop, we have these really cute make art all day hotel key stickers. Also really happy with the way these turned out. This was also part of a Patreon sketchbook club video of kind of designing these from start to finish. But I've always wanted to do like a hotel key design of some sort. And this sort of is just what came about. And I did it in two colorways and loved it so much. I made both of them into stickers. I also just love the way the tassel turned out on this one. I'm so, so happy with these. So uh, make a pink, make a blue. You've got both options there, which is a lot of fun. Also a uh, high quality uh, matte finish. All of my stickers are professionally printed. I never print my own stickers because I just, I want them nice, you know, want to make them really nice. Next up, we have this year's sketchbook club sticker. Last year I designed a sketchbook club sticker just to have, because I thought it was cute and as part of our Patreon sketchbook club. And this is this year's design. Same story with the hotel keys. I just really loved the two different colorways. Um, and this was also an encouragement of James when I had showed him like, which one do you like better? Which one should I get made into a sticker? He was like, I like them all. You should do all of them as stickers. So that is what I did. So we've got the yellow background and the pink background. I just think it's really fun. And I love the like squishy paint tube on this as well. Um, I just got a bunch of new gouache. So I feel like that's why I was really drawn to um, illustrating that for this year's sketchbook club sticker design. All right, so there you have it, guys. There is a tour of all the little goodies that is part of this shop drop, which of course is all available now. There's a link down below. Uh, but thank you for just hanging out with me and watching me uh, tour all the things and chat you through it. I'm quite excited, uh, especially about some of these stickers and the whole mini journal stuff is just really exciting to kind of bring you some different options. Uh, this time around in my Etsy shop. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Uh, feel free to give this video a like, subscribe if you're new. I put out a new video every week and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.